a weather forecast that called for storms with a light drizzling of fish. It sounds like a biblical plague, but it happened this week in Texas. Our natural environment appears to have been designed not only to meet our needs as a species, but also to keep us in awe and wonder perpetually. From locations all around the world, there are several natural phenomena that, for generations, have had even the best experts scratching their heads in confusion. Regardless of how much we have learned about them in the light of modern scientific knowledge, not much has been diminished about the allure and wonder attached to these phenomena. In this episode, we explore, among others, the Tennessee fireflies that emit their lights in unison, the beautiful cloud formations currently destroying our ozone layer, and the secrets of a hole that appears to be draining the Pacific Ocean. Are there any explanations for these phenomena, and what do they tell us about our natural world? Here are 15 weird phenomena that are hard to explain. Number 15. The Fireflies of Tennessee Every year, a great show is held in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. But this is no music concert or art exhibition. Rather, it is a pure display of nature's artistry. This show is held in June, the mating season of the bioluminescent beetle or firefly that inhabit the area for some 21 days. Visitors are delighted to see millions of fireflies on the mountain lighting up in perfect unison. This practice, known as synchronized lighting, is unknown in any other type of insect in the United States. At around 9 p.m. in their mating period, the skies are lit up by the fireflies' choreographed light show, leaving visitors in awe. It turns out that the Elkmont fireflies' weird annual ritual is a mating practice. The male fireflies light up their bodies to lure females to them for mating. The popularity of the Elkmont Fireflies' annual lighting is on the rise as individuals and families continue to flock to the location annually. Number 14. Nacreous Clouds in Alaska One of the perks of living in the Arctic regions of Antarctica or northern polar areas such as Norway, Alaska, Denmark, and Sweden is that you occasionally see one of nature's greatest works of art in the skies. Nacreous clouds, also known as ice polar stratospheric clouds, rank among the prettiest cloud formations you will ever see. So beautiful are they that they are often considered the northern lights. Nacreous clouds shine brightest at night. While their colors are pale and unremarkable in the day, their beauty is fully displayed after dark. These clouds are formed about 70,000 feet above the Earth's surface in the polar regions, which are the coldest part of the planet. At that level, Nitric acid mixes with chilly, humid mist to form the clouds. The beautiful pastel-like colors we see from the Earth when looking at nacreous clouds result from broken solar rays penetrating the clouds. However, though they are certainly a joy to look at, nacreous clouds also pose a danger to our planet. The clouds contain ice crystals. These crystals promote the degradation of the ozone layer that protects us from dangerous solar ultraviolet rays. Number 13. Fly Geyser in Washoe County, Nevada From Iceland's Geysir to Yellowstone's Old Faithful, geysers come in different shapes and sizes and have always fascinated people. However, because of its many unique features, the Fly Geyser of Nevada has been dubbed the world's most peculiar geyser. But what makes Fly Geyser so special? The geyser is named after Fly Ranch, on which it is situated. Its rocks are over 4,000 feet high and are covered in various bright colors. Fly Geyser spews hot water and steam into the air as high as 5 feet. Notably, Fly Geyser is an artificial geyser accidentally created in the early 1960s when an attempt to drill a well resulted in the opening of a source connected to the Earth's internal heat. An earlier attempt at drilling for water in the same location in the 1900s had been abandoned. Geysers are formed when underground water boiled by magma is pushed out skywards. Fly geysers' brilliant colors come from the many thermophilic microorganisms that thrive in the heat from the geyser. Burning Man Project, a nonprofit organization, now owns Fly Geyser, having purchased it for the sum of $6.5 million in 2016. Number 12. Wet Microbursts in Arizona Nature is capable not only of producing beauty and serenity, but also of devastating and destructive rage. 
One of its many expressions of anger is the microburst. These are powerful air currents directed downwards, which can trigger a range of natural hazards such as floods and dust storms. Microbursts are so powerful that they have been known to tear down houses. Notably, microbursts often occur on days that begin sunny and peaceful. But how are microbursts formed? They occur when cool and humid air descends rapidly towards the Earth's surface, gathering increasing force along the way. As this wind hits the ground, it spreads out, hitting everything in its path with a force that can get up to over 100 miles per hour. Furthermore, microbursts vary by type. Wet microbursts, unlike the dry variety, come with rainstorms. This year, wet microbursts have been experienced in parts of Arizona. Subsequently, some power equipment supplying thousands of local homes were destroyed when hit by a particularly heavy thunderstorm. Number 11. Devil's Kettle Waterfalls in Minnesota Waterfalls are some of the most beautiful natural sights in the world. But there are some waterfalls whose claim to fame is for a different reason than beauty. The Devil's Kettle Waterfall in Minnesota is one of those. For years, this waterfall has always puzzled and intrigued tourists and experts alike. The Brule River feeds this waterfall near the U.S. border with Canada. The river flows normally until it reaches the Devil's Kettle, where a large piece of volcanic rock shoots out and divides the river into two parts. Now, here comes the mystery. While one side of the split river cascades down the cliff, the other falls into what appears to be a hole in the ground rock, into which the water mysteriously disappears forever. If you throw objects into this abyss, as many have done, you would not see them reappear downstream. Where does the water go? Theories to explain this geological anomaly vary. Some claim the disappearing river continued flowing underground to other water bodies in Canada. There are more fantastic suppositions about a lost civilization existing somewhere down the hole. However, after years of research, scientists believe they have now cracked the code. Now they think that the mysteriously disappearing water re-enters the downstream river from underground. This theory is based on the evidence that the amount of water flowing before being split into two on top of the devil's kettle is the same as that which flows in the river downstream. Number 10. The Ice Caves of Mendenhall Glacier Cave exploration is as old as humankind itself. Even back when we were still in the hunter-gatherer stage of evolution, the ancient man loved to wander and wander about in caves, as evidenced by the many paintings he left us in caves around the world. While we have the luxury of houses today, the lure and mystique of the caves still prove irresistible to many. And far from being restricted to only hard caves made of rock, people also visit ice caves. These caves, made out of ice glaciers, have also become popular tourist destinations. Ice caves are formed when warmer water burrows holes into ice glaciers, eventually forming an internal space in the glaciers that gradually expands into a cave. Warm air can also similarly create ice caves. Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska is one of the most popular ice cave exploration sites in the world. Inside the 12-mile-long caves, explorers can listen to the soothing sound of water flowing through the crevasses around them as they admire the beauty of nature. Unlike rock caves, ice caves are not permanent and are subject to melting and being reshaped or breaking down completely. For this reason, visitors are encouraged to enter such caves only in the company of experienced guides. Number 9. Snow Donuts in Countrysides Snowballs you have definitely heard of or seen, perhaps you have even made some. But snow donuts? What are those? Who makes them? Can we eat them? Well, to start with, the answer to the latter is absolutely not. Snow donuts, also known as snow rollers, are naturally occurring snowballs. They are made during snowstorms when heavy winds blow snow into ball-like shapes with holes. Snow donuts vary in shape from very tiny to a few inches thick. They are usually found in the countrysides rather than in urban areas. For snow donuts to be created, the winds must be strong enough to mold or roll the snow. Also, the humidity and temperature of the environment should be just perfect for making the snow hold together. The wind moves the snow and molds them into the snow donuts. Snow donuts are best formed on large flat surfaces such as hills, with few obstructing objects and plenty of room for rolling. It appears nature doesn't need help making its own snowballs. We don't see them often, 
but snow donuts are one of our planet's weird yet delightful phenomena. Number 8. Lenticular Clouds in South Africa Did aliens visit South Africa lately? In 2015, images emerged of several large, dark, saucer-shaped objects appearing to hover in the sky just above the Rainbow Country's Table Mountain in Cape Town. But this was not a leak from some secret government UFO file. It was an event witnessed by thousands of onlookers and recorded by nature enthusiasts. Pictures and videos of such UFOs emanating from other countries have also made the rounds. Interestingly, these flying objects have been known to fly in intricate formations such as a straight line or an apparent V-shape. So what is the explanation for this? Well, apart from the possibility that a group of UFOs did indeed visit and hover over Cape Town for a while, the UFOs in question here were probably lenticular clouds. These clouds form in the sky, usually above mountains, as humid air passes over them. Lenticular clouds can vary in size and shape depending on how they were made. So, sorry, no UFOs. But people can be forgiven for mistaking these amazing clouds for alien spaceships. It is very rare to witness lenticular clouds, and they do look pretty amazing. Number 7. Stunning Frost Flowers of the Arctic The secrets to the origin of life on our planet may lie in some blocks of ice in the Arctic. At least this is the opinion of some researchers from the University of Washington. In 2012, scientists Judy Dent Number 8. Lenticular Clouds in South Africa Did aliens visit South Africa lately? In 2015, images emerged of several large, dark, saucer-shaped objects appearing to hover in the sky just above the Rainbow Country's Table Mountain in Cape Town. But this was not a leak from some secret government UFO file. It was an event witnessed by thousands of onlookers and recorded by nature enthusiasts. Pictures and videos of such UFOs emanating from other countries have also made the rounds. Interestingly, these flying objects have been known to fly in intricate formations such as a straight line or an apparent V-shape. So what is the explanation for this? Well, apart from the possibility that a group of UFOs did indeed visit and hover over Cape Town for a while, the UFOs in question here were probably lenticular clouds. These clouds form in the sky, usually above mountains, as humid air passes over them. Lenticular clouds can vary in size and shape depending on how they were made. So, sorry, no UFOs. But people can be forgiven for mistaking these amazing clouds for alien spaceships. It is very rare to witness lenticular clouds, and they do look pretty amazing. A possible explanation for this is water spouts. These are strong, spinning waves that sometimes form in the air and descend on water surfaces. As this tornado-like phenomenon gathers momentum, it can suck in small objects and organisms such as stones, frogs, worms, and fish. These then fall to the ground after the spinning waves lose strength. Another possible cause for the falling fish phenomena is updrafts. Updrafts are powerful air currents that draw air skywards. These currents have been known to lift small objects and move them over considerable distances. So the next time you wake up to find some fish mysteriously lying on your lawn after a stormy night, you know how that most probably came about. Number 5. Freshwater meets seawater boundary. You must have seen it on the internet. A meeting of two water bodies clearly demarcated by a line. While one side of the divide is of a deep blue color typically associated with oceans and seas, the other is of a light greenish hue. The place in question is the Fraser River's meeting point with the Strait of Georgia in British Columbia, Canada. If you are intrigued by this strange phenomenon, well, you are certainly not alone. Virtually a million people worldwide have shared these videos and pictures. Theories to explain the Fraser River's weird meeting point have varied wildly, as various commentators have turned to religious, mythological, and other perspectives to seek explanations. However, the scientific view is that this strange demarcation is caused solely by natural conditions. The muddy content of the Fraser River contrasts with the Georgian Strait's salty water, making it impossible for the both to mix. However, no matter which theory you subscribe to, we all can agree that the Fraser River's meeting point with the Strait of Georgia is undoubtedly one of our planet's more curious phenomena. Number 4. Florida's Psychedelic Swamp of all the places in the world, a swamp most probably wouldn't make your list of the most beautiful natural sightseeing locations. But residents of Tallahassee, Florida certainly know better. 
Pictures of a swamp from the area are currently attracting attention from around the world for its beauty. These pictures, taken by Michael Hussey, show the swamp covered in a variety of stripes of brilliant colors. The beautiful and unreal appearance of the swamp is probably what inspired the photographer to dub it the psychedelic swamp. It is almost as though someone had painted a rainbow on the wetlands. But this artistic beauty is the work of no mortal. The swamp rainbow effect, as it is known, takes place annually and is from the effect of sunlight meeting rotting leaves in the swamp. The canopy of trees overhead provides openings through which the sunlight meets the leaves. This beautiful natural effect is visible in forests across Florida. Number 3. Thor's Well, Oregon in the dark, unknown parts of the planet's history, Thor, the Norse god of lightning, unleashed one of his dreaded bolts just off the shoreline of Oregon, in what is currently the United States. The impact of his bolt left an endless, gaping hole in the Pacific Ocean, which is continually draining the ocean's water. At least that is how the local legends explain the origin of Thor's well, a peculiar geographic feature that has puzzled and intrigued observers for generations. Indeed, it has become one of the most popular tourist attractions in the area, drawing spectators in their thousands annually. The well is a hole in the Pacific Ocean shaped like a bowl, which appears to be draining the ocean's water like a drain pipe. It collects water when the ocean is at low tide and then shoots it out at high tide. According to more realistic accounts, the well is a collapsed submarine cave. And far from being a bottomless abyss from which nothing that enters can ever re-emerge, Thor's well actually measures only 20 feet in depth. Although a few unfortunate onlookers have indeed fallen into it, they all lived to tell the tale. Intending sightseers are advised to visit Thor's well just before high tide to witness it slowly building up. Number 2. Fire Tornadoes in Missouri Conventional tornadoes are typically horrifying natural disasters. But for a moment, Imagine ten-foot-high flames whirling in the air, tearing through residential areas and forests for several miles. This may sound like a setting from a doomsday book or an apocalyptic prophecy. But for the residents of Missouri in 2016 who witnessed a fire-nado, as this phenomenon is known, this was no mere fiction. They felt this harsh but mind-blowing display of nature's power when fires accidentally started by farm equipment went out of hand. When the fire came into contact with the winds in the area blowing at very high speed, it quickly spread and rapidly became a dreadful inferno. In the dry air, the fiery tornado was virtually unstoppable, gathering power by the minute. When firefighters engaged the conflagration, they were kept on their toes for hours as they struggled to avoid getting trapped in its blaze. Firefighters eventually put out the fire, but not before thousands of acres were gutted. This notwithstanding, the emergency workers themselves could not help but be impressed at the sight of the fire NATO. Indeed, one of them described it as freaking awesome in a video clip recorded from the disaster scene. Number 1. The Rainbow Pools and Geysers of Yellowstone National Park Measuring thousands of miles and attracting millions of guests every year, Yellowstone National Park is undoubtedly one of the United States' most prominent and most popular. One of Yellowstone's best-known attractions is the Grand Prismatic Spring, also referred to as the Rainbow Springs, found in the Midway Geyser Basin. Since it was named by an exploration team led by Ferdinand Hayden in 1871, it has grown so popular that it is now considered the most photographed part of the park. It owes its popularity to the beauty of spring. The Grand Prismatic is a hot spring with a blue center and is surrounded by several rings of different bright colors, but why is it multicolored? Well, various species of microorganisms live around the edges of the spring. These microorganisms, called thermophilic for their love of warm environments, produce different colors. Red, green, yellow, blue, and orange. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. For more interesting videos like this, click the next video on your screen.